Hi, I'm James Warren from OA Systems. Today we're going to take a look at the Resource Scheduling Board in Dynamics. Uh, if you're not aware of the Resource Scheduling Board, it's got a bit of a history. Uh, Microsoft purchased a company called Field One back in the day, which did uh, work orders and scheduling. They imported that into Dynamics and uh, it came in as is with the Scheduling Board working with the field service part of the system. It was then extended to be connected to the project service automation part of the system, but in more recent releases it's been separated as its own app and gives you the ability to reference other entities. To make sense of that, what I'm going to do is just take you down to the new app in the environment. So you'll see I've got a separate resource scheduling app here. Go in and click on that um, and show you uh, how it's laid out today. So I'm going to focus particularly on the scheduling board. Uh, if you do want to have a conversation about resources and those details and how they all work in the bookings, um, please get in touch with us at OA. So the board itself uh, is particularly designed uh, for organizations that need to visualize where their resources are at. So you'll see here we've got quite a busy view. Um, and it's got the resources, um, it's got how much time they're booked, uh, it'll show where the jobs are scheduled in time and you can look at hours, days, weeks, months, uh, those sorts of things. And uh, one of the really easy and useful parts of the system is the drag and drop capability of being able to put that work into somebody's calendar. Now you'll see here uh, with more recent releases uh, we have a new scheduling board view so that does actually uh, minimize that busyness of the system. Uh, and you'll see here, um, you can do that same thing, that drag and drop. It has a bit more of a visual what time it's going to take up, um, but still does the same thing around being able to allocate work um, to a person. But you'll see here, we've got unscheduled work orders, which is field service. Uh, unscheduled projects, which is if you're using the project service automation, or because it's now part of the customer service app, um, the unscheduled service activities. And, and that's the limitation of the system right now. But um, what has happened is the ability to go in, and you'll see I've actually already pre-configured one of these, enabling resource schedules for other entities. So um, if you come in here, you'll see these are the enabled entities that you can go into. And I've gone in and added cases, uh, a case incident. And if you go into that case incident, it gives you controls around things like um, uh, what the default booking duration is. Uh, do you cancel the bookings when moving them? What the minimum amount of time uh, for a piece of work is and those sorts of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, into the back end. Uh, I won't show it in this video, but I'm going to create a new layout so that when you come into this part of the system here, what it's going to do is give you the ability to see those cases. So as you can see here, I've actually added a new scheduling board specifically focused on case management, which gives us the ability to drag and drop those cases into the different resources in our system. But what I'm also going to do is go into the customer service uh, hub app. And if you can see here, if I go into the case part of the system, um, we can actually go in and select a case. And there's now a book option, which didn't used to be there before. And if I want to book that case, what it will do is it will go and look at uh, the back end information with that scheduling board. And it allows us to go into the calendar and say, uh, what I want to do is find somebody who's available uh, at 9.30 a.m. Uh, and I've got 82 resources that are available in the system. Uh, and I want to select this one. Um, and if I come out here and just scroll down to the bottom, sorry, if I do that again, 
Um, I can then book that. And what you'll see is that gives me a summary of the booking um, against uh, this case here. Uh, and if I go back to the scheduling board, which I will in a moment, you'll see that will show up there. So I've just switched to the daily view here and you'll see that job has been scheduled on Monday uh, and is available for us to look at in this environment. So the system now gives you the ability to be able to go and grab the different entities that you have in the system, create your own custom entities, uh, use the scheduling board and book either from the scheduling board or go into the entity itself, book it and give you clarity that that has been booked. There's a lot more you can do with resource scheduling, um, but this was just a quick outline and introduction to some simple things that are, are important. Um, you can dr drill into things like reassigning, having different statuses that will give you different uh, um, colors on your bookings and those sorts of things. Um, and also uh, going in and being able to look at resource utilization um, when you go in uh, to your resources. Uh, but for now, um, that's just a quick view of uh, the resource scheduling board. If you have any questions, we would love to talk to you about it. It's a really useful um, and relevant way of using your Dynamics environment. Keep an eye out for other videos. Uh, I'm James Warren from OA Systems. Hope to see you again soon.